Hi, this is Lachmi Kantiwari. So previously we have customized the alert dialog. Now I'm going to show you how you can create a confirmation dialog. It's really very easy. So here I have uh, already done a sample application for you. As you can see, as soon as I open this application, a confirmation dialog, it asks about the level of difficulty. So suppose that if you are implementing any game and uh, first of all that you want to select the level of difficulty when I mean user need to select the level of difficulty so there are many applications so, okay apart from that if you want to I mean if you user want to select uh, a ringtone of his mobile phone so this type of you know the ringtone names also can be set so here I have set this select level and then there is easy, medium and the hard and the very hard and then the button color has been customized this is not default accent color if I select easy and click on ok it shows that easy has been selected right so if you see here into dialog components of a google material design so you can use it also for selecting a phone ringtone such as the nun, calisto Ganymede and the Luna. However, many other uh, uses of dialogues we have already seen this alert. Okay, either you can also create a simple menu, okay, and uh, a simple dialogue also can be created with a custom, you know, the photo and then the text view. Okay, so as you seen, this is something like when you want to. Uh, access an email in your android phone then it offered you to select the account right if you are having multiple accounts in your mobile okay so these are the part of the dialogue right so these are the almost the dialogue okay the single value dialogue anyway so let's move forward with the confirmation dialogue so here i have created a new application known as a confirmation dialogue okay so it is just I have created an empty activity here okay nothing more than that so first of all that we need to create alert dialog and the alert dialog builder okay so you can say here the alert dialog and then is equal to the alert dialog and then alert dialog dot builder and then builder right now for uh, you know that the list for this list okay we want to create here an a string array so the a string and uh, let's name it as item and uh, I'm gonna name it as uh, let's say eg and then I'm gonna name it as a medium and then I'm gonna name it as a hard and then the last one it's very hard okay so you can add as many you want but here I am just adding four and uh, after that what I want to do here I want to create our uh, alert dialog right so it's just very simple builder is equal to new alert dialog dot builder and inside this one I would like to pass here of course it asks about context so the context is this activity and then we want a builder dot set title okay inside the set title I'm gonna set here select you know difficulty level and of course this is a string resource so I need to press the option and the enter and then extract this string resource okay so you can give a name resource name as a label okay and uh, apart from this builder dot set title now we need to set it into our you know uh, we need to set it let me show you what I'm trying to say you uh, we need to set it into a list okay so that list you can get that list by using builder dot 
set single choice items right so here i want to set the item and one more thing so these are labeled as 0 and then 1 2 and the 3 okay uh, and uh, but array starts from 0 1 2 and the 3 but this is location number 1 2 and the 3 that's mean here i have to pass okay the minus 1 right so i'm passing minus 1 which will count for 0 and then i need to pass here a, a new on click listener okay so that is new on click listener right and don't forget to put here a semicolon perfect and finally i would like to show this builder so for that one i have to get a dialog that's the other dialog of course is equal to builder dot create and then alert dialog dot show and let's run this application okay in your let's run this application into the emulator then i'll show you so here i have not created it the positive and the negative button i'll create that positive and negative button but before that i just wanted to show you whatever the progress i have made So when single choice items is displayed, then you are having here option, okay, to pass the selected item into our positive and the negative button. So application has been installed and now you can see here, easy, medium, hard and the very hard. However, if I select any of these application, any of these list, okay, so nothing is happening here. And one more thing you may notice here, so the color of this uh, radio button is following default android accent color right so let's move forward and uh, when we click on any of those uh, you know any of those uh, radio buttons it must get that item so for that what i can do i can create a new string here okay new string and named as result right and then i can pass here uh, result is equal to item and then i item i that means okay it will extract the item uh, item from the ith location okay so it could be g medium hard and the very hard so when you press on any of those radio button it returns an index number and then inside this result that index number is being stored okay and then you can access that result from set positive button and from set negative button so here we want to set the builder dot set positive button and then okay okay and then of course new on click listener don't forget to put here a semicolon and the similarly builder dot set negative button and then you can write here a cancel and then new on click listener and don't forget to put here semicolon so now once item has been selected now user can press ok or cancel button if user press ok button so this method would be executed so here i can write a toast message okay so inside the toast message i can print the result and the similarly i can copy and that copy the toast message from there and i can paste that toast message here now let's run this application and then you will see if i select any of those radio buttons and after pressing ok however if we press the cancel so of course this must not be displayed so of course i have to remove this one oh, this is not good programming technique ok so if i click on eg or the medium let's select the medium and if i click on ok 
then you will see here a medium right great so of course while uh, after pressing the cancel uh, of course you wa you may want to operate uh, i mean you may want to do any other operation instead of just uh, i mean instead of printing which was uh, selected okay i mean there is no point while pressing the cancel button in your alert dialog now i'm going to change the color okay so the default accent color that's very easy okay so we need to change at the two places one at the color and then at the style okay so i'm going to create here a new style and uh, i'm going to put the name of new style as a uh, the dialog theme let's say okay and the parent of this theme is of course dialog dot alert right and uh, then the item name would be you know the color accent and then i'm gonna set the color so i have to first define that color inside the color dot xml so the color name let's say color dialog and uh, for getting the exact uh, the code we need to go into material color so inside the material color i would like to show let's say the green no the blue yeah uh, yes so i would like to set the blue color okay so let's take this blue color with 500 intensity and then has and then paste it here so this is the blue color um, now we have created our theme and uh, now we need to pass that theme here while creating this one okay so r dot style then dot dialog theme okay and then just run it so when i run it you will see there this color would be uh, something is wrong here let me see um, uh, let me see what is the wrong somewhere I may have made uh, some mistake let me see oh of course here I did not you know give the color now let's run this one Okay, now it is installing the application inside the emulator after once application installed you will see that this color would automatically changed see now this is a blue now when I select any of these radio button color is automatically being changed and one more thing you may notice here it is just a simple list and inside the simple list uh, uh, radio button is being displayed there okay perfect so i'm going to stop this video tutorial here on confirmation dialog and uh, stay tuned for the next video tutorial in the next video i'll be covering more about the dialog so and i would like to also request you to subscribe this channel and share with your friends and uh, once you subscribe this channel you will get update directly into your inbox whenever i will upload a new videos bye bye have a nice day